Okay, this is 3.2 example part 2. So it says find the mean, or no, I'm sorry. If the mean value theorem can be applied, find all values of C in AB such that F prime of C equals F of A, or F of B minus F of A over B minus A. So remember for the, um, theorem four point or the mean value theorem it tells us that f has to be continuous on this function is this function continuous it um is a function that looks like this so it is continuous on the interval zero to one okay so we're basically just zooming in, in this part right here of the graph and it is continuous within that graph and is it differentiable? Can you take the derivative of this and that derivative will exist for each of these values in the open interval, okay? So let's see, what is f prime of x? I would apply the power rule. So I get this, which is one over three cube root of x squared. Now, the only value that makes this fraction or make this derivative not exist is if x were zero. But remember, it has to be differentiable on the open interval zero, one. And zero is not included in the open interval of zero, one. So this function is differentiable for every x value on zero to one, not including zero or one, the endpoints. So it does meet the criteria f prime of x I'm sorry not f prime of x f is differentiable on 0 1 and continuous on the closed interval 0 1 therefore the mean value theorem can be applied. Okay, those are the two criteria that had to be met. Now, if I want to find the C, the C value that the mean value theorem guarantees exists, um, then I need to find this out. So F prime of C I'm just gonna write the formula here and then I'm gonna plug in all the values. So F prime of C were to be if I plugged into C into this function. So I'm just gonna plug in a C there. F of B would be F of one minus F of zero for A, one minus zero. So F of one, X one to the one third power is one zero to the one-third power is zero. So I get this equation here, one. So then if I multiply both sides by the common denominator, this will reduce here, leaving me with one equal to three cube root of c squared if I divide both sides by 3 and if I write that square root as an exponent I can take the um, the opposite of this so I can raise this side to the negative two-thirds and raise this side to the negative two-thirds and what I end up with is that C equals one third to the negative two thirds. Well, the negative exponent will flip this fraction around, giving me three. The square will cause that three, well, I can write it back into this form. Then I get C equals the cube root of nine. So the z value that they're asking me to find is this. Now I could have just typed this in the calculator and it would have given me 
um, the cube root of 9. Or it would have given me a decimal. So if they do want the exact answer, you do need to know your exponent rules in order to get there. So you do need to know that a negative exponent will cause this fraction to flip over. And then you need to put that back into its, um, its radical form. And then it's just a matter of squaring the 3 and you're done.